Hey everybody, long time no see again. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a really long time, but I've just been busy with school and work and everything. I got my hair cut. It's short. I like it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a padded laptop case or laptop sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Um, a friend of mine commissioned me to make this for her laptop for schools. There's a couple variations you can do with this pattern. Um, my friend wants hers envelope style, like with a flap that will fold down and button or snap closed on the front but you could just eliminate that flap and uh, put a zipper in the top and you can just watch my line zippered pouch tutorial, I'll have the link for it right here and uh, you can just follow that and make it to the measurements of your laptop and have a zipper closure. For the envelope style one, you just need one pattern piece so she has a 13 inch laptop so I have my rectangle cut out 13 by 9 because those are approximately the measurements of her laptop so that would be for the front and then I just had this folded down this is just the flap for the front and I have the point of four and a half inches because I don't want it to come down too far and for your fabric you're going to want something really soft that's not going to scratch your laptop for the lining so I'm going to use fleece and I'm using this hot pink she asked for like a tropical theme and she said to use lots of bright colors so I'm using hot pink fleece for the lining and you want something that's going to make it a little more cushiony for your laptop so I'm just using this other random fleece that I have a ton of um, it's a little bit thicker than this fleece, I don't know so I'm just going to put a layer of that between the lining and the outside fabric just for extra cushion and you can use whatever fabric you want for the outside um, I did something a little different this time I took my pattern piece like this and I cut it into strips diagonally so I have like all these different pieces which got a little confusing when I was cutting out my fabric but I won't get into that anyway when I sewed all the strips together I use like different bright colored fabrics as you can see and it just makes like um, a striped effect in the shape that I want so that was the front and then this is the back with the flap so it would fold down like that in the front on top of the other piece. So those are my outside fabrics that I already have cut to size. So now all you need is a sewing machine, some scissors, pins, and um, snaps and buttons and zippers and whatever you want to use to close it. So I'll show you how to get started. All right, so first you need to cut out your fabric once you have your pattern piece all drawn up and cut to size for your laptop. So if you're making a zipper closure then you just have your one rectangle but since I'm doing I have this for the front piece and then with the flap for the back I need to do this twice so I'm gonna start with my front piece which is just the rectangle and since I already have my outer fabric cut for the front and back like I showed you um, I'm just gonna cut the lining and the middle fleece like so at this point you would have three layers of fabric here, your um, outer fabric, your lining, and your middle squishy stuff. <laughs> so I just have my two here because I already have the outer part cut out. So I'm going to lay those down, it doesn't matter if they're right sides together at this point. And I'm going to put my pattern piece on top, I'm just going to pin it down and cut around the entire thing with about a half inch seam allowance. Alright, at this point you should have six pieces of fabric cut out, um, three for each, the front and the back, so you can see I have those there and next what I'm going to do is um, my friend also wanted a palm tree added on here because it is a tropical theme so I'm going to do what I did in my last video um, for the padded uh, portable hard drive case um, and I'm going to put an applique or applique however you say it so I have like the palm tree pieces cut out just in some other fabric so now I'm just going to remove my back piece with the flap just put that aside for now and I'm also gonna get rid of um, the lining piece so I just have two layers here my inside piece for the front and the outside piece for the front they're not cut exactly but that's alright I can trim it later so I'm just gonna kinda line those up and then I'm gonna position my palm tree again where I want it and on these you could add fray stop to the edges see this is kind of fraying a little bit but I don't have any of that right now so I'm gonna skip that also first before cutting these out you could iron some interfacing on the back to make them stiffer and a little easier to uh, sew down but I don't have any of that either right now so 
I'm just going to line them up. You can add a bit of glue underneath before you sew it, but I'm just going to go ahead and sew just around the edges of these shapes. And I want to sew it to both these layers, just because it make, it's easier than sewing it just to this flimsy outer fabric. So I'm going to do that really quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got the palm tree stitched on there. And now I'm going to um, attach my snap. So I have four pieces here and my snap attacher. I got this at uh, Michael's I believe. So I'm just going to move this piece aside for a minute and bring in my back piece with the flap, the outer fabric and not the lining but um, the middle layer. I'm going to lay that down, um, good side down, and then bring back in my front piece and lay it good side up and just line it all up like that and now I'm just gonna mark where I want the snaps to go so I'm gonna fold the flap down and you want the snap to go kinda of right not right at the tip because you still need to sew this so maybe about there I'm just gonna mark that with a pin for now like that and then I'm also going to mark the same spot on the front piece because obviously one piece of the snap goes here and the other piece goes there. So line that up and it's about right there and I'm just going to mark that with the pin as well. Double check just to make sure they line up. Alright, so now I'm just going to move this piece for a minute and I'm going to attach the snap um, where I marked it with the pin. Alright, my snap pieces are attached now and now it's time to start assembling. So I've got my back outside piece right side up. I'm going to take my back, or sorry, my front outside piece, lay that right side down so the right sides together. And this is really important when you're lining it up if you're doing the envelope style. You want to line it up at the bottom corners and it's okay if this comes up higher than where your flap starts because you need that seam allowance, I'll tell you why later, but you need um, this to come up a little higher than your flap so make sure you line up at the bottom corners and you have that extra fabric on the front piece here. So, alright, once that's all lined up I'm gonna pin and sew these three sides obviously not sewing this side because that's where the laptop goes in so I'm gonna pin from here all the way around those three sides and sew those. So I'm going to do that really quick and I'll be right back. I'm also going to do the exact same thing with my lining pieces. So I've got my back lining piece right side up and I'm going to lay my front lining piece right side down. Again, making sure that you line up the bottom corners so you've got a little extra fabric going up from where your flap starts. Like that. And again, I'm only going to uh, so these three sides making sure to leave about a two inch gap on the bottom seam for turning it right side out. So I'm going to pin and sew from here in an L shape to here, leave a gap, and then pin and sew from here up to here. So I'm going to do that really quick and I'll be right back. Alright, now I have both my inside and outside pieces sewn and I'm going to turn my lining piece right side out like that and then I'm just going to put it inside the outer piece. And basically what you're going to do is pin up the flap, down the flap, and across this seam here. So you're attaching the lining to the outer fabric, so I'm just going to pin all the way around there, sew it, and then I'm going to turn it right side out through the hole in the lining, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so after turning it right side out and sewing the hole in the lining shut, here's the finished product. The last thing I have to do is just add a button right here because she wanted a button there but I don't have one in the right color so I need to go pick up some buttons before I do that but that's pretty much it there's the palm tree there's the back just the plain stripes and my snap just opens there's the hot pink inside nice and soft for a laptop and sadly I don't have her laptop here to put it in to show you what it looks like with the laptop in there but you get the idea so that's it. I hope you had fun making um, a laptop sleeve or laptop case, and thanks for watching. Bye!